We could actually go in through these bars and into the sewer. Here we go. We're placing our trap. What is down there? Okay, that's really cool. It gets deeper. We just caught a sewer crawfish. Oh, I got him in the little net. Oh my goodness. Look at that. What the heck is that? Oh. What's up, BFB Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we have found a new spot filled with sewers, and we're gonna be exploring them today. Uh, basically, I was exploring on Google Maps, actually, looking for new spots, and I came across this spot behind me, but on Google Maps, it was so weird. It was, like, actually in the middle of a pond. All this used to be water, actually. Where we're standing used to be a pond that actually connected to this pond over here. And guys, since there's been a big drought in Florida, the water has dropped significantly and there's actually no more water here now. All this used to be water and it's completely dried up. But the one thing is the sewer actually still holds a little bit of water. I don't know why that is, but there's literally like water in here still. And know what that means? There's gotta be fish in there and eventually all this will dry up and then all the fish that are in this sewer will die. So my thought process, my theory is all the fish that were in here went into the sewer for cover because it's the only place that holds water there's like a little cage here and the fish could go hey shut up the fish could actually go in through these bars and into the sewer and now they're living in there we don't know how many fish are in here we don't know what kind there's a new spot new area so i'm very excited guys we brought a lot of equipment today this is not the only sewer too there's a bunch on this you know area and we're going to be checking them all today we're going to be fishing them and see what we can pull out of here and uh, everything we do we're going to be saving guys because this will all dry up there's been no rain in florida recently so we're gonna have to lift up these sewer grates we got rob here to do it because we all know I can't do that. I, I'm I, I so just, jacked. I can't do it, guys. We have a lot of fish traps with us today. Uh, we have this bad boy, big old rodent trap. This worked last time we were fishing in the sewer, uh, kind of, until the clown knife fish we had escaped. What is that? Oh, oh it's a clown. He just slid out. He slid out! Oh! Get the net! So hopefully it doesn't escape this time, whatever we do catch. Let's lift up these little sewer grate lids and throw our fish traps in there. Oh, Jesus! There you go. Oh, it's three different little parts right here. So this, is, this actually works. This is all we need. Just a little opening for us to get in there with our nets and fish traps. So guys, we're going to grab some nets and then uh, uh, try to catch some fish in the sewer and we'll see what we can get. <laughs> okay, yeah, Bobby. Yeah, special rod. I can do this too. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, now we got more area to work with here. My shoe's stuck. Uh-oh. Get me out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to hurt yourself. Oh, there's a fish right there. <laughs> Jump Sneak in. Attack. Sneak attack. <laughs> How deep is the water? It's so deep. I can't even see the bottom. This is going to be tough. Fish trap would work. I like right. fish traps. Let's just place a fish trap, guys. All right, we're going to place this fish trap in Have here. Have you been doing Pilates recently? Yeah. We got a little piece of bread here. We're gonna bake this fish trap up. This is actually moldy bread. Dude, even better. Now, guys, if you wanna catch cool fish like me, you have to use moldy bread. <laughs> yeah. You have to. And what we'll actually do, after we play some, we'll save some for ourselves. No, no. Why Don't not? eat the moldy bread. Okay, guys, it's your preference. Do what you want. We got our fish trap baited, guys, with some bread, moldy bread. It could be some really cool stuff, so we're gonna see. We'll let it levitate there, and we'll just tie it to the grate. Oh, that's actually a great so idea. So it's not gonna be on the bottom, but it will be pretty deep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. These fish have no idea what's coming. Boom. And now our fish trap is baited, guys. So now, like I said, guys, there's more sewers over here in this area. Let's go check them out. They're over here. Oh, my God. That's the smallest sewer. It's a drain. baby sewer. Well, we know there's no fish in there because there's no water. All right, guys, we're here at the second sewer right across from the first one. And this one is really big. It looks like it's going to hold some really cool fish. So check it out. It only has one lid. I don't know what that's about but it's so big that it actually needs two lids so we got our rodent trap here check it out this bad boy catches monster fish right we're not going for the little stuff this time we're going for the big boys if there's something in there that's big it's gonna go in here and we're gonna trap it everything eats this stuff guys frozen tilapia if you want to catch a uh, yeah some monster sewer monsters that's what you need boom we're just gonna throw a half in there oh just yeah like that that's all you need plop her on in there and we're ready to catch us some sewer monsters just like that we're ready to go guys i'm gonna place her like this oh my there we go dude the sewer's huge all right ready here we go we're placing our trap there it goes that is so deep oh that's scary i don't even know where this leads to guys who knows 
Okay guys, well I'm an idiot. We just realized I set the trap without having it open. We got it open now, it's all baited up. In she goes. Oh my. But yeah, we'll give this some time, we'll check it, and uh, we'll see if we got anything. Look at this sewer, bro. It's a circle sewer. And it actually says, where does it say it? Drains to waterways. I mean, come on, there's gotta be fish in there. What waterways are they talking about? If you look in there, oh my god, there's a fish. Wait, there's something moving in there. What is that? There's something moving. Here, stick the camera in there. Dude, there's a frog in there. Oh! We gotta save it. We gotta save him. He's probably stuck in there. There's a tree frog in there that needs our saving, so we gotta open this uh, regardless. But we're gonna open this bad boy, and then we're gonna, I think we're gonna try and net around in there or place something, maybe a hook and line, to try and catch something out of there. Now we know it drains to waterways. That means there's fish in this sewer. Oh. Wow. Oh. Dude. That, that was easy. All right, well. Oh, dude, this is, oh, there's the frog. Oh, there's two frogs. All right, we've just lifted up the third sewer. This thing is crazy looking. We've never seen one like this. And it says it drains to waterways. So this connects to something where there's fish. We got him. No. Oh, my no! God. Oh, oh, my God. No. Oh, my They're God. so cute. Guys, we're trying to save you. Oh, my God. He's adorable. Come here. Oh, oh. there he goes. Look at that. Oh, he's so cute, guys. There's tree frogs. Oh, my. Oh, oh my oh. God. Your, your wife he's went three. that way. She went that way, dude. Other way, that way. Well, we just broke them up, guys. How deep do you think this is? This could literally be... Oh my God. Oh! Dude, look! Look at the bubbles! It's disgusting. Oh, I'm scared, dude. There's gotta be fish, though. Ew! Ew. Oh, it's like sludge. Okay, that's gross. Oh! Oh! oh. My God. Oh that. my god. It's huge. Dude, that thing could have ate those frogs. Yeah, literally. Guys, look how giant this. Oh no. He's squaring up. Whoa. Relax. Ah! Relax. Oh. Oh, he's trying to pinch me. We just caught a sewer crawfish, guys. This thing's huge. Big giant male. It's he's got cool colors on. Look at that. Look at the blue. It's got blue, it's got orange. This could be signs that it is a hybrid. That means there could be blue or orange crawfish in here that bred with normal ones and created this guy. So dude, we could be pulling up some really cool stuff now. We're gonna get the buggy though. This guy's cool. I think we're gonna try and keep him. I just saw a fish. I came up to get water for my bucket and I saw a fish and I, it had like a blue green shimmer to it. I don't know where it went, but we do have our fish trap in there. We're gonna keep netting around in that one and see what else we can pull out of there. There's another frog. Get back here. Oh my god, this one's huge! Oh, that was cool. Oh no! It's like red. They're invasive, really? but they're really cool. Oh! Oh, he's on. <laughs> he's on the camera. Oh! oh. Was that him? Oh. I thought the frog fell in. There was a splash in there. I just heard it. What the heck? <laughs> Rob, I can feel that. Dude, he's <laughs> so chilling right now. All right, guys. Well, we have a new member of the BFP Nation. <laughs> Ew. Uh, oh! oh my god! What? Oh my god! Dude, oh. I got it! It's a peacock! Oh, dude, that's sick. I got him in the little net. Look at that. Dude, he must have been eating like baby frogs or something. Yeah. Ah. Look at the little sewer peacock, dude. A little sewer peacock. Little No! Hey man. Alright, uh, you know, you what? know what? He he had enough. We're gonna go release this peacock into the lake here. Hi right, buddy. There you go. <laughs> oh. Alright guys, well we're saving fish right now. I don't know if he was able to find his way out of there. Who knows? This sewer is a mystery, but let's keep netting in there and see what else we can catch out of it. So we're here at the second sewer. I want to explore more of them, not just netting that one. I want to start netting in these other ones. There's a hole. There's a little tunnel. Oh. Oh wait. Mm. Oh, I got one. I got a fish. What'd you catch? I got a fish. Is it a green oh. terror? It's a green terror. It's a green terror. Where'd he go? There he is. That is so sick. Dude, that is awesome. Okay, that's really cool. That really makes me excited. That is a green terror, guys. An aquarium fish that we catch here and there. They get really pretty. And they're literally one of my favorite fish to catch. And we just caught one out of this new sewer. So that's awesome. The possibilities now are actually endless. There could be anything in here. Let's get this guy in the bucket. We're catching some sick stuff right now. There he goes, in the bucket. Don't eat him, crawfish. Don't yeah. even think about it. I could see it in his eyes. He wants to. No! Hey! No! Yo. Okay, that's it. He's attacking, he's attacking our green terror already, guys. I would feed you to Abby. Also, guys, a little Abby update. I'll throw up a clip right now. Abby's doing amazing, okay? Our Abby, Abby Knife Fish, she's hand feeding already. She's a beast. I would feed this guy to her, but I'm feeling a little generous right now, all right? He's a little sweet. We got a, a bond. So I'm just gonna throw him back in the sewer. 
<laughs> we're gonna keep netting around though and see what else we can catch dude we're off to an insane start we're actually catching some really cool stuff all right guys well we've been netting in this little hole sewer and it's been about an hour since we placed these traps now that's definitely enough time for a fish to sniff out the bait and go in there so we're actually gonna check the traps right now we're gonna start with this one right here the rodent trap because i have high hopes i'm very excited to see if we call anything oh i see the trap bro you see the trap oh god it's heavy oh it's so heavy oh, oh. dude are you kidding me that's a big fish rod there's a giant fish in here all right hopefully the trap doesn't malfunction like last time we get to see what we caught it's a gar it's a massive gar oh dude oh that's sick Look at that giant, oh, chill out. Chill, dude. dude. Look at that. Oh, ah. We just caught a giant car. All right, well, he's got some gnarly teeth on him. Look at that. Yeah, we fooled you, buddy. That's right. Really cool Florida gar, guys. We don't want to send him back in the sewer just because we don't really know where that connects to. We're going to give him a better home and throw him in the pond just because that's obviously the better choice. All right. There you go, big Oh, he's all strong. He's happy. That's really cool, guys, but, you know, I'm after something cooler than that. So we're going to rebait it. Actually, I don't even think he ate the bait. So we can still reuse it and send the trap back in there and probably check it once it gets darker and see if anything cooler swam in it. There it goes. Woo, come here. Wait, take a peek in there with the camera. Look over. Do you see anything? I don't know. Yes. Yeah, what something's heck? moving down there. What the heck is that? Hello? Is that a frog? No, oh my God, it's something big, bro. It looks like it's a fish. Look at that. Oh, I got it. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Look at this thing. Oh, ow! It's actually a pretty decent sized one. What the heck? Where does this connect to? We have to throw him back in the sewer, guys. If he came in through something, I'm guessing there's somewhere in here for him to go back out that way. We legally cannot put this thing anywhere else as much as I want to. We're gonna have to send him back in the sewer, dude. It's against the law to move tilapia like that. Oh, it's so disgusting. <laughs> We're trying to feel if there's any holes. Oh! What is that? Ew. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish under it. Oh. What the heck is that? What did we just catch? Where'd it go? Oh, there he is. What is that? Oh, right here. Just a little cichlid. Another green tear. Rob, another one. Nice. Look at that. That one might be a little bigger, actually. Here, let's do a little size comparison. So that could mean wherever this connects to has green tears and they're breeding. And this is just the spawn of them. Smaller fish like this will go in sewers, in storm drains, in pipes to hide from the bigger fish that are actually in the, you know, the canals, the ponds. These guys must've just gone in here and we're casting out now and now they're ours. All right, we're taking them home, dude. Those are some really cool fish. All right, guys, well, we're off to an insane start at these new, you know, chains of sewers. We're catching giant gar, green terrors, lots of tree frogs, big crawfish. So we're gonna give it another hour, maybe an hour and a half. And we're gonna come back here, maybe do a little more netting and check our fish traps to see what we caught, guys. We'll see you then. All right, guys, we've made it back to the sewers. It's been over an hour and we're here. We got our little net. We're actually here at the circular sewer we're gonna net around in here and see you know if we can spot more fish with our light before we check the traps dude the water's so nasty in there look how dark it is oh dude what is that massive molly holy crap bro oh, wow look at the size of him oh something's been chewing it up oh yeah look at that so that means he's in there with something that is aggressive, nippy, like a cichlid or something. We know there's green tears in there. That's a massive jumbo molly right there. We're gonna get him in a bucket. Oh, what is that? Dude, I just saw another fish come up. We have two green tears in here and a molly. Oh wait, right here, right there, right there, he's coming up, he's coming up. Ah! Oh wow. Another, look how fat they are. Yeah, that's definitely a big girl. She might even be pregnant. I see how you ended up in there, buddy, but uh, you're saved. I just can't help myself though. I'm really excited to check our fish traps. So we're gonna head over there, check both our sewer fish traps. I'm losing my voice guys, I'm sorry, I'm sick. But uh, let's see what we caught in the fish traps. There could literally be anything in this one because the mesh holes are very small. So it could be little fish, bigger fish, who knows? All right. Oh, we do see fish, yeah. Look, fish oh, right there. Oh yeah, yeah, I see them. Lots of fish. Okay, those could be, those could be mollies. That looks like mollies here. I see fish in here. So we know there's fish. Oh my God, there's a lot, bro. Dude, oh, we caught yeah. the honey hole. Oh, we caught the mother load. Look at this. There's so many. The chap is jam packed. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get this big BB tilapia out of there. We actually caught, it looks like the other one that we just saw in there. It's a big old tilapia. We'll throw him back. See you, dude. A little mine right here. Boo. Yeah, lame. What is that? Look at the colors on. What is that? That's cool, though. It's a little cichlid of some sort. What else? Molly, Molly. What the heck? 
What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Oh, oh bro, wait, what bro, is what did that? we just get? Look at that thing. I've never seen that in my whole life. Okay, we're gonna- I have no idea. We're gonna try and go quit because we have a lot of fish in here. There's a little, oh! Get cichlid. It's an eastern happy. It looks pregnant too. It looks like he's got babies in his mouth. Can you see him? Yeah, dude. You yeah. could definitely see him, dude. Yeah. Oh, there's actual babies in there. That's crazy, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Another green terror. Dude. Oh, nice. This is sick. Look at that. Bunch of fat mollies, dude. Oh my god. So many, so much of a sort in here. Look, more eastern happies. Those nice. are females. Another green terror. That's like our fifth one, bro. What is this? Another green terror. Are you kidding me? That's wow. a big one, dude. All right. African sig. Oh, a snail. That's cool, dude. Oh my God. What is this? Oh, oh, dude. Are you kidding me? I've caught these a few times before. I think they're called sun catfish, but they're so oh, cool. Oh, wow. I've caught them a few times. I think that's the biggest one I've ever caught. That's really nice. How many do they get? I have no clue, but that's a really nice one. Look at the yellow on them. What a beautiful fish. That's really sick. I can't believe this right now. Look at these mollies. They're jumbos. Oh. Rob, look at that oh, Oscar. Nice, nice Oscar. Oscar, bro. Look at that little guy. That's <laughs> sick. I think that's it. Let's dump everything out. That's everything. Dude, what a haul already in our first fish trap. Check this out, you guys. See, I knew this place would be loaded because the whole pond dried up and all the fish were forced into the sewer. Right now, we're gonna head to the other big sewer where we have our rodent trap marinating. We caught a garnet earlier. Now let's see what we caught in it this time. All right, guys, we're here at the second sewer. We have our bucket full of keepers. I don't even know why I brought this because this trap is not gonna catch any little fish. It's gonna be big fish if we get anything. So, all right, here we go. Oh, there's the other sewer grate, Rob. Oh, yeah. Look. Okay, so that's super great. Fell in. Maybe someone threw it in or something like that. That's not good, guys. Very unsafe. Don't do that. It's very heavy. Oh, my God. Is that a fish right there? Look, see the little black? I can't see anything. Oh, yeah, it is. Dude, I just saw a thud. Oh, it's, oh, it's, dude, it's knocking it around. It's knocking it around, Rob. Dude. Holy crap. What the heck is that? Oh, oh. It blew bubbles. What's a giant snakehead, Rob? Dude, you got a giant <laughs> snakehead in the giant trap. Snakehead. Oh my god, dude, did you see that? He's like, no. Oh, oh my god. Ah, relax. Oh relax. my god. Ah, that thing is huge, bro. Oh, chill out, chill out. We don't want you to hurt yourself. Whoa. Oh my god. You just did a 360 in the trap. Look at that. He just turned around. Let's get you out of there, buddy. Come on, get on out of there. Dude. Oh my god. Whoa. Look at the freaking girth on him, dude. That is a really nice snakehead. That is so sick. It's not something we could keep, which kind of sucks. But it's a very beautiful fish. Beautiful snakehead. Jeez, head. dude. He's even got some reds on him. Yeah, he's huge. Look at that, you guys. Listen to this, ready? Listen. That's a coconut head right there, guys. They are hard as a rock, such hardy fish. They can literally withstand anything. I guess we have to throw them back in here because just like, oh! Well, he released himself. <laughs> guys, that was insane, dude. What a giant snake head. If you guys want to see more of the, the rodent trap, go down there and leave a like. But yeah, guys, we have a bucket full of keepers, little cichlids and all that that we caught today that we're going to bring home and keep as my new pets. So we're going to head back to my house now and put them into the ponds, the tanks, all that good stuff. So yeah, we'll see you back in my house. Let's <clears throat> get these fish in the pond, dude. All right, guys, we've made it back to my house. We're actually here at the Predator Pond. Check it out. A little update. The arowanas in here are doing amazing. They're actually almost ready to hand feed everything in here. The big catfish everyone's eating we want to get some uh, mollies in here create natural food for the arowanas and all the other fish for whenever they're just hungry so we have all these giant jumbo mollies most of them look pregnant and we're just gonna get them in here check this out jumbos dude they all look pregnant which is really good there they go we want a lot of food for our fish Wow, look at that Oscar, he's gorgeous. So we got a little Easter, two Eastern Happies and a Molly. Hopefully they reproduce and create a little food source. Like I said, guys, now we got the cool fish, you know, all the green tears, the Oscars and whatnot. So uh, let's get those guys in their designated homes. All right, guys, well, we did an abandoned pool video where we rescued fish from an abandoned pool recently. And I said 50,000 likes and I'll turn my pool into a pod. Well, we're halfway there, guys. So I did it already. Check it out. My <laughs> no, just kidding, guys. Our pool guy just didn't show up last week because he's sick. Guys, five likes on this video and I'll do it. Dude, are you kidding me? What? That's my African clawed frog. How did he get back here? Wait. Guys. Wait. Is that the dumpster frog? Yes. This is insane. Okay, I literally moved him. We quarantined him. All right, he was in the quarantine tank, my little 15 gallon. They went through quarantine. Now I put him in my side pond and he disappeared. I was like, where did he go? He's right here! Guys, you don't realize how far it is from here to the side pond where he was. 
How uh, did he get that here? Now, we're gonna put most of the fish we caught in here because they're actually gonna do really well, especially this little sun cat here. He's gonna sit in the rocks. There he goes, into the pond. All right, now we also have all my green tares we caught, and uh, we're gonna put them in here as well because I love me some green tares. We have a few in here already growing out, and I can't wait for them to get big, get all colorful, so let's gather up all the green tares and get them in the pond. This one right here is not a green tear. I don't know what that is. In they go. Sweet, dude. Look at all the koi. Look, look at all of them. Look at this. Ooh, little Oscar. Oh, he's ready to go. <laughs> he's like, free me. There he goes. All right, guys, we're here at the mini pond. Now, check it out. This is really cool, guys. There's literally an axolotl right here that we caught in the Everglades. That's the one I, I caught, I think. Uh, Rob caught one that was way bigger. This one's doing real good. Look at the gills on him. That's how you know he's healthy. That's how you know he's wow. doing good. Such a beautiful axolotl, guys. You don't see him in ponds a lot. All right, let's get this little mystery fish in here. I've never seen that before. Kind of looks like a shad. Yeah, a little bit. That little glossing, a little glisten right there. I'm not sure what it is, guys, but it's really cool looking. He's going to thrive in here. So, in he goes. Wow. That is so insane, sick. dude. That's so awesome to see. See them doing good like that. That's really cool, you guys. Wow. What an insane adventure today, exploring new sewers, catching really cool stuff. If you did enjoy, if you want to see a part two at that spot, go down there and let me know. But yeah, guys, leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.